Hello friends. Well, I hope you still have your hard hats on from yesterday because this is day two that we'll be going on to a construction site. Hello everyone and welcome to Take the Next Right, the series that is literally taking the scriptures to the streets and the streets to the scripture, to the highways and the byways, all to see how God can strengthen our walk by using everyday road signs to guide our daily spiritual walk. Today is part two with our sign, Under Construction, the sign that God uses to remind us that what we see in each other is not the finished product. We are all under construction. Yesterday, we talked about how to begin the building process, and that's through a relationship with Jesus. As you come to Him, Christ, we are told in 1 Peter 2, 4, the building begins. I have to tell you that I love this sign. I love that we are all a work in progress. I'm so happy to announce that what you see today in me is not all that God sees. He sees so much more, and that goes for you as well. Yes, God sees us as we are presently, but He also sees our potential. To understand that truth can bring so much freedom into our lives, and it can also help us to live more courageously in the lives of others. For example, I love the invitation of 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. Encourage one another daily and build each other up. When we find ourselves on the construction site of someone's life, God wants to use us to build them. And we can do that in simple and practical ways like being available. Find ways to spend time with people. When we go to the grocery store, when we go out for our daily walks, when we go to exercise class, when we go to the office, we're going to meet people who need to be built up, who need what we have to say to them. Being creative, when you know somebody's under construction and doesn't want to go out, call them and say, hey, I really need to go to the mall, but I'd rather not go alone. Will you go with me? It's a creative and non-threatening way to get them out of the house, get them out and about and a way for you to speak hope into their lives. This is just one idea. Keep thinking and you'll find lots of other ways to reach out to the people you know God has put in your life. Also, you can be a listener. Why worry so much about saying the right things all the time? Instead, just listen. And when you do speak, be real, be you. When people say, I'm hurting, you can say, I know. I've been there because that's what's going to make the true connection. Well, friends, thank you for joining me today. As we see each other under construction, we can see how much we can be used to build those around us. And as we recognize and receive this truth, it will bring purpose and meaning to every place we go and everything we do because the people around us are our purpose. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Strengthen Your Walk.